Grandma's Magic Comb. Welcome to Grandma's Bedtime Stories. Listen and enjoy while I take you to a wonderful and magical place where unicorns and enchanting creatures exist. Please like and subscribe for more. Once upon a time in a cozy little village nestled in the heart of a lush green forest, there lived a cheerful and imaginative young girl named Bella. Bella had long, silky, golden hair that shone like the sun, and she was known throughout the village for her kindness and her insatiable curiosity. One bright and sunny morning, as Bella was playing near the babbling brook that ran through the village, she spotted something shiny glinting beneath the crystal clear water. With her heart racing with excitement, she reached into the water and pulled out a magnificent silver comb adorned with intricate patterns and dazzling gemstones. Bella's eyes widened with wonder as she gazed at the comb. She could hardly believe her luck. She rushed back home, clutching the magical comb tightly in her hand. Her mother, a gentle and wise woman named Mrs. Rose, listened intently as Bella excitedly told her about her discovery. Mom, I found this beautiful comb in the brook, and it's so shiny and enchanting. Look, Bella exclaimed, showing the comb to her mother. Mrs. Rose examined the comb with a knowing smile. My dear Bella, this is no ordinary comb. It is a magical comb, and it has the power to grant wishes to those who use it. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Bella's eyes sparkled with excitement. Can I make a wish, Mom? Can I? Mrs. Rose nodded. Of course, my dear, but be very careful with your wishes. Think about what you truly desire and make your wish from the heart. Bella thought long and hard about her wish. She knew that she wanted to use the magical comb wisely. Finally, she closed her eyes, held the comb tightly, and whispered her wish into the wind. I wish for the ability to help others and make the world a better place. As Bella opened her eyes, she felt a warm, tingling sensation in her fingers. The comb had granted her wish. She knew that she now possessed a special gift, and she was determined to use it for the greater good. From that day on, Bella's life took an extraordinary turn. She discovered that the magical comb allowed her to transform her golden locks into anything she wished. With a simple touch of the comb, she could become anyone or anything she desired. Bella started using her newfound abilities to help those in need. Whenever someone in the village was sick, she would transform into a talented healer and nurse them back to health. When the village children needed a storyteller for their bedtime tales, she would become a master storyteller, weaving enchanting tales that captivated their hearts and minds. One day, as Bella was strolling through the forest, she came across a group of adorable woodland creatures who were in trouble. They were caught in a net left behind by hunters. Without hesitation, Bella transformed herself into a skilled acrobat, expertly navigating the trees and freeing the trapped animals. The grateful animals, including a wise old owl, a mischievous squirrel, and a playful fox, became Bella's loyal friends and companions. They taught her the secrets of the forest, the language of the animals, and the wisdom of the trees. As Bella's fame as a helper and protector of the village grew, so did the number of people seeking her assistance. She used her magical comb to bring happiness and prosperity to the village, she could make the fields bloom with bountiful crops, ensure the village had clean water, and even bring rain during dry spells. One particularly hot summer, the village faced a terrible drought. The crops withered, and the villagers were in despair. Bella knew it was time to use her magic again. With the comb in her hand, she transformed her hair into long, silvery streams that reached up to the sky. She whispered her wish for rain, and her hair began to pour forth cool, refreshing raindrops. The rain fell gently on the parched land, and the villagers cheered as their fields were rejuvenated. They danced and sang in the rain, grateful for Bella's selflessness and her ability to make their lives better. However, as time passed, Bella realized that she couldn't be everywhere at once, and there were still many people and creatures in need beyond her village. 
she decided to embark on a grand adventure, accompanied by her trusty animal friends, to use her magical comb to help those in distant lands. Their journey took them through lush forests, towering mountains, and sparkling rivers. Along the way, Bella encountered people from different cultures and backgrounds, each with their own unique challenges. She used her magical comb to provide aid and comfort wherever she went, leaving a trail of smiles and gratitude in her wake. One day, as Bella and her companions were exploring a dense, mysterious forest, they stumbled upon an ancient and enchanted tree known as the Tree of Dreams. This tree had the power to reveal the deepest desires and dreams of those who approached it. Bella was curious and decided to touch the tree with her magical comb. As the comb touched the tree, a vision appeared before Bella. She saw the faces of countless children from all corners of the world, their eyes filled with hope and dreams. They longed for clean water, education, and a chance to fulfill their potential. Bella knew what she had to do. She made a wish that her magical comb could create lasting change, not just temporary fixes. The Tree of Dreams granted her wish, infusing her comb with the ability to inspire others to join her cause. Bella returned to her village with renewed determination, and she began to share her vision of helping children around the world. Word spread quickly, and soon, people from far and wide came to join Bella's mission. They built schools, dug wells, and provided resources to children in need. The magical comb's power to inspire and unite people was unlike anything anyone had ever seen. Years passed, and Bella's village had transformed into a thriving community of compassionate individuals who worked together to make the world a better place. The magical comb had become a symbol of hope and kindness, a reminder that even a small act of goodness could have a profound impact on the world. Bella, now a young woman, looked back on her journey with gratitude and joy. She had learned that true magic was not just about granting wishes, but about using one's gifts to bring joy, happiness, and love to others. She had made lifelong friends, found her purpose, and made the world a more beautiful place. And so, the story of Bella's magic comb became a legend, passed down from generation to generation as a reminder that kindness, compassion, and the power of dreams could change the world for the better. Bella's legacy lived on, inspiring children and adults alike to use their own unique gifts to make the world a brighter and more magical place for all. The end, but not really, because the magic of kindness and compassion lives on forever.